I'm off work. I'm sitting here in my pyjamas with Frank. And we're sitting out and I'm determined to get these roast chestnuts done. So I'm going to have a little go at them. I uh, haven't done too many. Test me pan out. And um, the garden is in a right state because we've been hit by frost. That's why I'm not in work. It's minus four. It was minus four today. So I don't know what it is quite at this second, but it's only going to be minus four or minus three. I am cold, but this fire is really warm. Um, all the plants have all started to be sorry, hit by frost. Everything needs a good tidy up. But it, I was going to say it's too cold to tidy up, but I'm out here now. But I'm not doing gardening. There's our geraniums that have just keeled over. So yeah, things are looking worse for wear, but I'm determined to get this fire going. And uh, we're just going to sit here and we're going to get these chestnuts done. I mean, I mean. So I've got my me, uh, me dressing gown round them. Although he doesn't really need it because the fire is warm. But yeah, we'll get them on in a minute. So it's obviously dropped now, the light um, looks very, very, very dark on here, but I can see what I'm doing. It's just a tester. I just tasted one and it was delicious, slightly hard, but delicious. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes. And I'll try and get some light on in a minute. Okay, well, I've got a little bit of light going now. Uh, Betty's come to join us. <laughs> You're looking a bit cold, Betty. These, I've never done them roasted before. So, you know, like the old song, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Well, I've only ever done them in the oven. And I've loved them. But this is the first time I've, I've done them like this. So let me just take them off here. I've just got one hand, so bear with me. Right, just balance them on there, I'm not organised. Um, let's get one out. Yeah, it's going to be roasting, it's going to be roasting, literally. So just give it a minute, let it cool it down a little bit. You can see my breath here, look. That's my breath, it's freezing. It's minus one now, so... It's literally warmed up from today. So I can just squash this. I've only got one hand, so... Let's see what it's like. Oh. Hang on. Ow, ow, ow. That's hot, hot, hot. Right, hang on. Oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> that is nice. Just hang on. Right. So. It's all nice and. See this team. <coughs> They do look rather burnt, but that is so enjoyable. So now I know it works, I'm going to get more organised. <clears throat> so this is um, a little bit crude, you know. Um, it's just something I'd lying around, but um, I... Oh God, where am I starting? I'm, I'm, I can't get my words out, I know what I'm trying to say. I keep things and I think that will come in handy and that, that will be useful. And then people say to me, you can't start keeping everything. You've got to start throwing things. Well, I had this. I don't even know what it was. It was this type of um, shape, you know, grill. And it had two handles on it. I don't I don't know where the hell I got it, but it was solid, thick steel. And I used to have it up on top of the water drum, just 
just to put it somewhere, I don't, just out the way, thinking it'll come in handy one day. And then now that I want to get the pan on top of this fire, I thought it would be absolutely the perfect thing for this because it's solid metal and uh, checkered. Well, I can't find it. I'm sure I've threw it out recently and that's really annoyed me because um, obviously that would have been perfect for that. So, unless I've stuck it somewhere, I don't know. But this, you know, all this so you can't keep things and throw it out. The second you throw something out, you'll need it. So, by the way, you saw me eating these. Um, I actually don't want these in, right, in full up. <laughs> but they were that nice that I've just done an extra, an extra dozen. But I want them black again so that the shell just falls off them. Um, as I say, it's a bit crude. What I need is something to place that on. That does fit on the fire, but it was rocking a bit. And I don't want it to rock. So I'm either going to cut this down to make it fit and then carry on using that. Or fan the other, the other thing. And the other thing I wanted, when I move it off there, I can't put it on the decking because it's obvi obviously roasting hot. So I've got this little metal table. In fact, I found that as well. A while back it folds up and I thought I love it. So that'll come in handy so the pan can go straight on there. So that's that's that. But the thing I was going to say about the garden is, the garden needs all work doing on it. These leaves, they're actually moving now, but they were stuck to the pan. So you couldn't even move them, everything was frozen. But I'm off work because I can't work. So how can I do my own? I mean, I suppose I could cut them down, but I can't be asked. Um, I will do it when the weather picks up a little bit, but then I'll be back in work. But yeah, it all needs doing. It's which is ironic because I'm off work and I'm I'm not, I'm not doing the garden. So let's uh, see these go. It, the time now is about quarter past five, something like that. And the match is on tonight. It's uh, who is it? It's the semi-final, isn't it? Argentina and um, who is it? It's in Morocco. It is in Morocco and Argentina. So I'll go in and watch that after this. France it is, and Morocco. Hello Frank. You going for warm? You watch your head on that. Come on then, come on then. Come on. Come on. Right, and you Betty. Come on, get off. Come on, come on. Come on then. Come on then. Let's get it warm. Okay guys, I'll uh, get back to you in a minute. Okay, the other thing is as well, <clears throat> I was telling them um, some viewers ow, 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 I was telling some viewers about um where we live here in the northwest of England and we don't um we don't get snow or frost or anything like that. Well, not much of it. And now we've been hit by frost pretty bad. I mean as I say it was minus four this morning, so God knows what it was in the night. But it's gone a real, real cold snap. Um but yeah, this is warming my hands up great. So let me just squash this open for you again. I know you've seen them, but... Oh, God, that's just soft. <laughs> Dead sweets. Ow, ow, ow. Fire's roasting. Oh, that's it. Okay. Now, a bit of shell. I don't mind. Oh, no, it's not, actually. No, that's actually burns, but I don't mind because it adds... It does add to the flavour. Let me just eat this bit. So here we go, this dark bit. Oh. <laughs> Let me give Betty some. I'm not sure if you can give dogs chestnuts, but I'll give them them now and then check later. Obviously one little bit won't harm it. What do you think? And she wants some, Millie. Thought you'd be out. <laughs> she wants some. Give us a sec. Right, I'll just give it a little bit. So, I just can't stress the difference in these. I've always liked chestnuts. That's why I wanted to do them. But I've never ever done them on an open fire. And uh, they are so sweet. And I was going to say juicy, that's the wrong word. Juicy, but they're, they're succulent. That's probably a better word. I'm just trying to get this off. Um, 
I don't know if the word husk, I know that's the shell, but the bit that's between the shell and the chestnut, it's like a, a little bit of a fairy thing like that there. Make sure you don't eat that, because it's like on an orange, the pith, it's really bitter. But see that now, see that colour? That is what you want. I just can't stress the, the, the difference in these now. I, <coughs> I thought done in the oven was good enough. And another thing, whenever ever, when I used to have them as a kid, I used to dip them in a bit of salt. Now, I know salt's not good for you, but obviously you were a kid and didn't care. But uh, I don't need anything with these. These are just so sweet now. With, and it's the, it's the actual burn, it's the roasting that's made the difference. Probably someone's watching this now thinking, yeah, we know we've roasted them for years. Well, I haven't. So this is just, it's new to me, roasting them. Obviously, I know the song. And I know you roast them, but I've just never had them roasted. <laughs> Try it, folks. It's gorgeous.